All right, so we know how to do area. Area is pretty simple, right? What if you had to find the area of, let's say, a backyard because you wanted to put down grass? Let's say you want to put down grass all over here. I'll color it in a little bit. Let's say you wanted to put down a little grass over here. This is all going to be grass. But in this section over here, you want it to be sand. Now, believe it or not, you can buy grass. So this person needs to buy grass for this section here, right? But they don't want to buy so much that they cover this section here. So what does he do? Well, because there are easy numbers and hard numbers, I'm going to go with the easy ones first. And I'm going to do, I'm going to find the area of this box here. I'm going to do 6 times 6. And that's 36. All right, so I have 36 right here. Then I'm going to do 25 times 15. Which is a little harder. And remember, I would do, so this is the one method that you could do. 5 times 5 is 25. This is actually a 10, and this is actually a 20. We do 10 times 5, so we did up. Now we can do across. 10 times 5 is 50. Now 5, 5 times 20, 5 times 2 is 10, plus a 0. And now 10 times 21 times 2 is 2, with one zero, two zeros. All right, now I add that all together, and I get 5, 7, 3. So 375. I would do it down here, but I kind of ran out of room. 375 is this one, right? Well, now... I found out the area of this whole thing, the area of this little thing, what can I do? I can subtract. I can take away this area, pretend it doesn't exist, all right? So 375 minus 36. And I would make that a 6, make that a 15, 9, Three, three, done. 339 is the area that I need for the grass. I don't need 375 because it would cover up this. The 375, I would have a thing of grass that goes whoop right over the sandbox. So I need 339. I need it without the sandbox. All right? So all we're doing is step one, finding this. Step two, finding this. Step three, subtracting them. All right, let's do another one. Whoops. Let's do another one. I'm gonna move over a little bit because I'm a little, a little stuck. All right, now, again, I'm gonna start with step one, which is the easiest square. The easiest square is this one, because he's little and the numbers are little. 5 times 2, I know, that's a math fact, that's 10. 5 times 2 is 10. Now, i got to do 18 times 20. And I'm going to do the same method. 0 times 8. <coughs> Sorry. So I, that way, now I'm going to do my x. This is a 20. This is a 10. 20 times 8. I do 8 times 2. 16 with a 0. 0 times 10. That's just 0. 20 times 10 is 200. <coughs> Sorry, guys. 
and that makes 360 if you add that all together. I'm just adding at the bottom. There's no room. So this is 360. But I don't want this section. So I'm going to subtract it. <coughs> Sorry, guys. You know I have terrible allergies. And 360 minus 10, I'm going to do the math. I'm going to leave it up here, is 350. And that is our answer. So again, I followed the steps. This first, then this. Area of here first, area of here second. Subtract step two and step one. All right, this is step one. You subtract it from step two. So this minus this equals answer. Hooray! Now, if there are any questions, I'll be holding a Google Meet and you can ask me. But other than that, thanks for coming.